Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I'm your host, the House Code Gamer, and today we're taking a look at the Tapau Scout Ship. You might have noticed where this comes from. Yes, this is the ninth anniversary event ship, which consequentially also follows STD's introduction into STO. Oh, joy. This is the same ship that supposedly carried Sarek to uh, a peace conference. I'm just not gonna talk about STD, D's plot. We both know, we all know I hate it. Mostly because it doesn't make sense. I mean, so many continuity errors. And not just visually. That's just the tip of the iceberg. It gets worse. But I'll save that for a... perhaps faction review. Depends. Leave a comment if you want me to actually rant about it in my angriest way. Now, this is a science ship. Or rather, a scout ship. In fact, it was my first scout ship because I never got my hands on the Dranur. I still haven't. And, well, it had cannon abilities. It was also incredibly balanced, so I thought it might actually be useful. After all, it's a science ship that mounts cannons, and as a predominantly tactical player, I might be able to use it. It does offset some of its drawbacks, but... No, it is still a science ship. It just so happens to have superior abilities to shoot things than most of its peers. Now... As for console layout, it is a pilot vessel to a point. It's rather maneuverable. I normally don't play with the ship, and I mistook it for a pilot vessel at one point. That's an Intel ship, and it's mostly universal. You might have noticed that. Scout ships are effectively science raiders. And I've never noticed them have raider flanking, but it seems like something they should have. As for its starship abilities, or rather, it's trait. Emergency response teams. Lose your shields. Gain secondaries. If they persist, this then you use a science power or intel power. More health, more shield regen. Universal equ console equivalent of feedback pulse. Ouch. Double up the feedback pulses and use the ability. <laughs> Somebody's in for a bad day. Uh, now, I'll give the STD boys credit. At least they kept to a certain design language when it came to a Vulcan ship. Warp rings. That said, it reminds me of a jackal. Reminds me of Anubis, the jackal headed god of mummification. <laughs> yeah, you might have noticed I'm going in a order of re order of release here. Well, there's a good reason for that. These are anniversary ships. You have to go in order. And once more, the only way you can get this ship nowadays is through the Phoenix Box. Or if you are unfortunate enough to go through the 9th anniversary event. This also bucked the convention. Notice this says there is no set piece. The boys at STO finally realized 
new players aren't going to have some of these abilities, and we want new players to go through these events and have some justification to do so. Yeah, we're not going to do the event ships are tied to sea store ships thing anymore. Bad idea. That and there weren't that many STD boats to add. There were no Klingon vessels, no Romulan vessels. This was very much a dark time for cross-faction stuff. I mean, we're still in that dark time, but we're getting better. If you want to get it, have fun with the roulette. How's good gaming? Signing off.